Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man, and I am making a video. Ah, yes I am. Um, I thought I would just have a go at making a video, because it's been a very long time since I have. And we are on the Suffrage Outline. We're at Gospel Oak. Let's get the train set up so we can do what we need to do. Uh, let's get the key in. Let's get AWS on as well. DPWS. AWS operational. Excellent. And open the doors. I'm making a video. This is a rare event, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, I mean, I've said it in many times. I don't have the time to be doing YouTube all that often these days. I still like to upload my train spotting. But I have just gone through a, uh, a long, about f four or five weeks of not having a computer. So I have not been able to play most stuff um outside of you know work so it's nice to actually be able to sit down and play something just in my own time this will be my, this will be my first casual proper run of the uh, of the london overground route which is nice which is very nice doors are closing themselves not a problem all right let's get ourselves into forwards ready yeah yeah, five, five weeks without a computer. Painful. Painful. Um, and also, it's not like, it's only like 85% recovered. I'm hoping this video goes okay. Um, basically, the cooler like imploded and, and then it overheated because of course it would. And then a hard drive died and then a fan broke. And it's been all sorts of, oops, I didn't mean to a lot of doors again. It's been all sorts of mess, basically all sorts of mess so yeah i've lost my flight sim install which makes me very sad i've lost most of my games but train sim world is intact because smart me put it on a different hard drive and away we go yay this is one route that i mean i've driven it in ts classic when it when it came out that was fun I've only ever been on it in real life once, and I've still not been to Barking Riverside Station. I, every time I go to London, something goes wrong that prevents me from going there. Uh, the most recent attempt, the North London line broke, so I got stuck uh, for like three quarters of an hour on a 378 in the middle of nowhere. That was good fun. Um, and in previous attempts, Barking Riverside had just been closed for that weekend. Um, so I, I still intend to make that a thing I'm able to do, but it'd be nice to do some train spotting there. You don't see much, but it'd be nice to go. Seven ten. Very nice, very nice. I do, I do. Um, I like the look of the Aventurers. You know, the the interiors aren't the best in in real life. The seven twenties are one of the worst things I've ever experienced in my life. I'm looking forward to trying the 701s out. Um, I don't mind the 710s. I just I love I, I do like how modern they look. I'm already speeding. Look at me being amazing. Fine, it's fine. I guess this is my first time having a proper relaxed drive in ages, so it could be a bit messy. It could be just a tad messy. But other than that, we'll just uh, we'll just take it as it comes and have a nice little journey. Um, so how have you all been? I know it's been a while, and in fact, it's been so long. I think this is even my first Train Sim World Four video. The all the past seven hundred stuff I did was still in Train Sim World Three, so it's it's been it's been a a while, it's been a while. Um, what I don't know is if any. I've done you know, I've done some train spotting recently. I, I assume that footage will have gone up before this, but you never know with uh, with these things. I mean, I should know because it's my channel, but, you know, I can't know everything. Um, I can't know everything at all. Right, let's uh, bring it to a stop. We are more or less on time, and I think we just nailed the stop. Almost. Almost. I've been informed that if we get up, these boards are supposed to be visible in this window. That's, I think that's how that's supposed to line up. Um, 
which I'm not the best at, but you know, the trains in the platform. Hello. You having fun listening to your music? Good, good. All right, everyone can get on. And we'll be, uh, I can open the windows. Good idea. Excellent. All right, uh, little doors. That's it. And away we go. I said away we go. There we go. Brakes releasing takes its time sometimes, doesn't it? So yes, we're off. We're off. Busy, busy, busy. Um, busy route, busy life, all good fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's non-stop. It, it really is non-stop. I mean... But I, I, st I still like to enjoy trains when I can. You know, maybe I'll do some more after this. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. The one thing I haven't checked is if my TS Classic install has survived my, my PC shenanigans. There's every chance it hasn't. Um, but, yeah. The install that I had wasn't the most stable to begin with, so if it didn't survive, no great loss at the moment. I probably needed to reinstall it anyway. Um, but I do need to buy a new hard drive at some point, so... Yay! And it's typical, isn't it? You, 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 a, a PC component. It was a, it was a hard drive that's not in, under its own warranty because of its age, and it broke just after the sales. So great. If I'd have known that it was going to break, I would have bought one two days ago. But no, no, not not in this instance. Oh well. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. Just doing some flight sim videos would be fun as well, really. I mean, I've only ever done one. Um, and I feel like if m most people that watch flight sim videos, if they watched me fly a plane, they would um, they'd be horrified. And they should be, because I am not a professional in any regards towards my flight simulation shenanigans. Um, anyone who's watched my old FSX videos will know that to be true. But... You know, it's um, I enjoy it, but I need to reinstall it. And reinstalling flight sim is gonna be hell on earth. Close enough. I lined it up with one window. Let's just call that a win. But yeah, fantastic to see this route come together. The detail that it's got is just insane. Insane. Or this lot. Got the machines, got the posters, got the beep beeps. Hello. Alright, 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 stop it. Yellow cup. Fine. They're freaked out by the flying camera. I mean, who wouldn't be? Lock busy doors. And away we go. I think so much has changed since I last recorded a video. I've got a different monitor. It's very nice. Um, I, and it's, it's one of those... It's like a proper, proper widescreen. I could do like a ridiculously wide video. Uh, but only about eight people would watch it. So I'm not going to do that. Unless you want me to. Um, that, is, that is always an option. That is always an option. Right. It's quite a sedate route, this, for, for, for London. Like, London Overground is notoriously low speed. Um, the highest, I think, anywhere on the network is about 45, 50 miles an hour, like out on the Watford DC areas. Um, but it's funny on this route, because when this used to be run by Class 172s, they would only ever do 45 miles an hour, and they're diesel mechanical units. Um, so when they moved to the West Midlands... They didn't work, because their gearing had never actually been faster than 45 miles an hour. I see a 700. That's cool. And an 800. Oh, look at that. Love it. East Coast Mainline. Brilliant AI. Very brilliant indeed. Yes, what was I saying? Something about words, and they exist, and I'm not good with words, so I don't remember what they were. It was something. It was, oh yeah, it was a speed limit, and yeah, the 172 is not working, which was quite funny. It was just like, yeah, the 
they've never gone this fast ever um, so they just didn't work they needed to be uh, broken into the high speed limits on other networks Past another train, four trains per hour service. We like to see it. We do like to see it. Harringay Green Lanes. On a downhill, so we should probably break a bit heavier than I normally would. I'll take that, it's close enough. There we go. In a tree. Right. There it is. Yeah, everyone, get on, get off. Do what you, th do, do what you do at Harangay. Um, actually, there's a walk not too far from here, isn't it? You can walk across the old Northern Heights route. I swear that's a thing, because I've done it. Um, it was a, it was a great walk uh, back, back in the day when I did it. Uh, it was the walk that literally broke my shoes. Um, I had no souls by the end of that walk, but it was a good walk, and I'm pretty sure it's around this sort of area. Alright, let's lock the, uh, lock the doors. Have a bit of an external departure, shall we? Glorious stuff. Go. And off it goes. Right, we should probably make sure we're not speeding already. Nearly. We got it. It's fine. I know what I'm doing ish. Next stop is South Tottenham. That it is. We'll just coast along there for a while. The speed limit will go down even further um, as we approach there, but that's all good and manageable. Can we stop speeding, please? Thank you. Ah, dear. What a, what a, what a change of pace this is. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. My channel is pretty old now. I'm pretty sure we're like, if we haven't hit ten years, we're about to, or we already have. Um, and I think it's, you know, it, it, it's t ten years is a long time. And you know, 2024 so far has been the year of all YouTubers going, oh god, should I quit? Um, and I have said I would in the past, and I've had hiatuses and all that lot. I think I just needed to get myself familiar with what sort of energy I want in my videos. I can't be the hyper energy, oh my god, banter lords all the time. You know, um... It's, it's nice to just take a bit of a chill as well and uh, relax a bit, you know, not not think about it too much. My biggest my biggest fear whenever I do a video is overthinking it because then all of a sudden you just can't do it anymore. Shared. Nice. And yeah, a change in pace of videos. I mean, not everyone appreciates the videos in the same way, but that's fine. This channel's for me and for anyone who just happens to want to tag along. That's that's pretty much how it's always been. Now this platform is really, really small. Um like there is no wiggle room at all. Which is probably why the speed limit's so low. Like people say, oh why is the speed limit so low? There'll be a reason. Um there's always a reason behind speed limits being what they are. And more often than not, it's to do with signal sighting or um, just sort of route familiarization. Even could be the ground that the route is on. Um, like the Red Hill Tunbridge line is notorious for having issues with its terrain because it's basically built on top of clay. So it's always got speed restrictions on it. But um, in this instance, it's probably to do with the fact that if you were going any faster, you would miss this station. You just would. It's it's just how it would happen. Um, yeah, that that is that is facts for you ish. Facts ish. That's how I roll. We can get a bit faster. 
briefly after this stop, which is nice. Doors closing themselves. And this divide here, so I think yeah, we're taking the left path to continue along the uh, the Goblin, as, as it is affectionately known. The other path is a connection to the Anglia and um, Lee Valley routes. Because I've seen I've seen AI seven tens go up and down here. It's like empty stock. Um, but that's not for us. Uh, we, we're going to Black Horse Road. That we are. And the first time I ever went on the uh, on this line back when it was in one seven twos. This is the only time I think it's yeah it's the only time I've been on it. Um, I think. I, it was at Black Horse Road. I did Black Horse Road to Gospel Oak. Which is fun. Accelerate. I mean, the Adventures acceleration is just... It's, it's something else. I mean, they do have one of the fast ac fastest accelerating sort of like stats ever. Not the fastest. I think that goes to the flirts of uh, Greater Anglia, but pretty quick. Three four five double oh eight was once the fastest accelerating EMU in the country, and the seven tens are just. Well, they've got more traction motors and less weight. Like it just. It's just a rocket in its own right. Down for 20 again. I assume it's 20 for crossing this bridge. Because you wouldn't want a train to fall in, in, the, uh, in the canal. That would be bad. A 710 does not make for a good canal boat. That is, that is a fact for you. Pretty though. I wonder what this old building is. I actually don't know. Someone, I'm sure someone will tell me what that building is. I'm sure they will. Alright, nearly back up to the uh, 45. Nearly. There we go. Accelerate! There we go. But don't forget, I do have to stop as well. That, that's an important thing to take into consideration. Right, there we go. Speeding slightly. Not a, not a huge problem. It's a manageable problem. I just, I just love how frequent the service is on this route. Four trains an hour. It's all good. But it does make me wonder, how many trains at, per hour could you have if you really, really squeezed as many trains as you could into it. You know, the, the turnaround time at Gospel Oak and Barking Riverside is about 10 minutes. If you cut that in half and got rid of all the freight, could you have 8 trains an hour? I reckon you probably could. Um, but it would, if, if anything broke, it would break like, horrifically. Bye, other train. Have fun going to Gospel Oak. But yeah, I, I, I love what was done with this route. It should, should, should have seen the look on my face when I saw the working lifts for the first time. Because yeah, if you don't know, working lifts. It's, uh, it's cool. I am running late. That's fun. Right. We're going to floor it out. We... From Stoke Queens Road is next. Nice. Floor it out. We are not going to make it in 30 seconds, but we can give it our best go. That we can. That we can. I love the variety in track. Because, yeah, they did have to lower a lot of the track under bridges and stuff when they electrified this line. I'm speeding horrifically. They ha yeah, you know, to fit the wires in, it's like, hmm, do we raise the bridge or lower the track? And in most instances, I think they lowered the track. 
But otherwise, the route hasn't really changed all that much. I mean, even there's even some wonky signs that were still wonky back when it was a diesel route. They just didn't bother to change them. I, f I find that quite fascinating, actually. Yeah, we are we are slightly running behind schedule now, but nothing, nothing too bad. It's you know it could be worse. Could be a hell of a lot worse. Bring it down. Bring it down. My driving technique is probably not helping, but there we go. Nice. And also, we must do the uh, the natural thing whilst we're here of photo mode. It, it just it just needs to happen. Um. That's the thing. I've not done a video on uh, on T Tier Stuff before yet, and you have no idea how much time I waste waste uh, with uh, taking photos. But it's it's worth it because you can just go like that and be like that. I'll sort the focus out in a minute. I'm not that stupid. Um, you can just be like, I want to take a screenshot like that, and then we can bring the focal point in. And like as me as the screenshot master. I can take a service that's like half an hour and it takes me nearly an hour to do because I'm spending most of my time doing stuff like this and capture the screenshot. There we go. There we go. Right. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I think, and I think my record for driving a service and taking screenshots, I think, is a, I took about 60 screenshots. Um, it's just on in one service. I need, I need to like have a place to just dump them, um, so I can just you know share them, so you can see all the screenshots. I mean, maybe I could do literally just like a compilation. A collage of, of screenshots every now and then but here's a screenshot so i took in x month and you could be like oh that's fun screenshots and then move on with your life but maybe maybe that's an option um i mean i've looked into like Flickr in the past I, I i feel like with the amount of screenshots i have i'd need to have like a pro version you know and as as much as twitter or x has been my uh, social media of choice for as long as I can remember. I've had an account for over 10 years. It's, it's on its knees, isn't it? It sucks. So, yeah, oh well. Oh well. I love this section. Um, being, uh, sort of, uh, you know, rooftop level, it's very unique. Um, it's very cool. need this more but the thing is if I lived in one of these houses I would never get any work done I would never sleep or anything most people don't sleep because they moan about the noise I would just be too busy watching the trains all the time like, that's my problem um, if I if I could see a railway at all times I would be hopeless as a human being and I you know it's, I'm not fantastic to begin with but I would be even more hopeless um, it's bad enough that I can hear trains most of the time, because so, that makes me open up track seats. But like, oh, what was it? Um, same as when you hear a plane. First thing you do is open flight radar. If you don't, then I think you're boring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but it's it's just one of those things, isn't it? All those people that moan about living too near to an airport or Back on, on you know a house backing onto the Brighton mainland. It's like you lucky son of a bitch. That's basically basically how I look at it. There we go. Nice moment of tranquility as everyone does their thing. Nice. Right. Uh, we're, we're we're sort of crawling back some time ish ish. It's fine. Just need to gun it out of these stations. Leighton Stone High Road. 
I love the horn in this thing. And it has a depot whistle. My favourite. I love me a depot whistle. There is a keyboard c command for it. Can I remember what it is? Nope. Is it this? Is it this? No. Is it this? Is it this? There we go. There you go. So if you're on PC, it's Control B. Which means you can hear it from the outside as well. There we go. I'm speeding horrifically. It's fine. It's fine. We, we ignore the problem. There we go. Much better. So now we just uh, coast away into Leytonstone High Road. And slam the brakes on because we're here much sooner than I thought we would be. It's fine. It's fine. It's because this platform is longer as well. Like it's got an old section. 24 hours a day. Yeah, thank you. Announcements. Brilliant. Um, another train. Stop! There we go. Nailed it. Doors and, seeing as there's uh, two trains here, more photo by time. Um, we'll take a similar shot to what we just had and then we'll uh, shake it up a bit, I think. Let's make sure both trains are in focus. Glorious. I love the reflections, the slightly blurred reflections in the rails as well. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um... Maybe without the uh, rotation. There's still some because the train's on a slight bank, but I'm 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 okay with that. Maybe we could uh, do something like this, like a full-on thing, and then this train's in focus. Can we get both trains in focus? We probably can. Sort of. A bit more depth of field. Both trains are in focus. Excellent stuff. There we go. Right. Let's look at the interior whilst we're doing this, shall we? It's the interior. These seats are, like, rock solid, but that's fine. Um, how are we all doing? We all good? Yeah. Cheery Londoners, as always. Looking dead. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. Um, train to Barking Riverside. Cool. Right, I need to go. Sorry. Sorry. I oh, know. I oh, know. Go in. Shut the door. There we go. Lock. That's it. We're going to be late now, aren't we? On to the park. Go, 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 go. That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Fine, we got it. Nice. Right. One step park. Which, from the elevated section, I think is my favourite station. And I don't know why. It just is. Um, I guess we've all got to have a favourite something, right? There we go. Post. We are going downhill, so that's going to be fun to deal with. Occasionally. Right. Go slow, leveled off a bit. Actually, now we're not heading 45 at all. There we go. We've got to be on the ball as much as we can because otherwise we will run more and more late. I mean, we've got it's saying we're supposed to be there in 30 seconds. Hmm. I don't quite think we will, but you never know. It's only 600 yards-ish. yards. Over all the roads, which is fun. Oh, we're going to be slightly late, but only slightly, which I think is a good thing. Come on. I don't want to mess up this station. 
I like this station. For reasons of... No one knows. No! Technically, I'm still in the platform. You just gotta hop a fence. Of course I'd screw the station up. Of course I would. Oh well. We can still look at it. It's the park. And the funk officer. Oh, um. Did you just separate from your hair? Okay. Have fun with that. Excuse me. She's a demon. Just run. Right, anyway, we're going to run. Why did I just unlock the doors again? I'm going to let the demon in. No. Oh. Come on. I already locked the doors once. There we go. I, I am many things, and competent is not one of them, apparently. Right, come on. Go, 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 go. Next stop, with Grange Park. And then Barking, I think. You know, and then Barking Riverside. So we're not... You know, we're making some pretty good progress, actually. It's not going too bad. Right, there's, there's our 40. Speeding, because... Why not? Ballast changing colour as well. Because they had to relay a lot of ballast when they... Uh, Upgraded the route, so makes sense. Going over the the gemel, it's fun. And then we are joining a route uh, which connects to the uh, gemel. This is how, pretty sure this is how the C two C trains make the connection and freight too. Signal to freak you out. That's actually for the line to the left. Um, it's not a red for us. Uh, what is a red for me is the speed I'm currently going. It's fine. It just means we'll definitely be here on time. No one's going to complain about that. They might complain if I miss, though. Come on! Break, break, break. I'm literally in full service. Apparently the train just doesn't want to stop today. It's fine. Again, they can hop the fence. Because uh, passengers definitely know how to do that. More, well, more know how to do that and more do that than they should, anyway. Well, we're back on time. Um, Going to shut the doors at the right time and we are back on time. So that's good. I'm impressed with myself. We're back on time. Let's get the doors closed. Now... And depart for barking. I said depart for barking. There we go. Nice. Up to speed as quickly as we can. 1.5 miles to Barking is like the longest distance between any two stations, really. Because as we get closer, we you know we join the C2C lines, we join the underground, um, and we've got to mingle into all of that, which is fun. Be nice if there was some uh, traffic for it, but uh, what can you do? I wonder if we'll see any more freight, because we're getting close to Ripple Lane as well, which is the other side of Barking. This is a mad freight route, it really is. And uh, I, I, I'm assuming freight would have its own speed limit, so it'd probably go even slower than these do. Um, but it depends on the boards, I haven't actually checked if any of them are differential or not. Good timing as we go around the corner. Very nice. Love that. Start to see the underground uh, stuff popping in here. The fourth rail and the different types of signalling. 
Good to see. Speed up a bit. I think it's this junction, this spur, which you'd use to take to get to the terminating platform. I think. That takes you to the terminating platform one, which is where the line used to stop. Um, before Barking Riverside was built, but we are flying over the C2C lines to get to the other side of Barking Station. So we have the ability to continue onward to Barking Riverside. Right, there's a 30 limit coming up. Not going to be able to do much about it at this point because I've been paying attention, but. Held it. Ish. Yeah, so. The trains would used to terminate over in platform whatever, one. Yeah, because we're in platform seven, so it's platform one they used to terminate. And still do on occasions if Barking Riverside's ever closed. I love the detail at this station. We'll get to it in a sec. Once I've managed to bring the train to a successful stop. I've not managed to line that up once. Oh well. Yeah, so if we have a quick look. Because you've got the proper font. The, the, the C2C pink, even though it hasn't got the branding on it. It just looks glorious. Like, I love these signs as well. It just it feels so right. It feels so right. Loco stop spot. Hmm. Got a sandwich. Some dovetail water. Good, good. Good, good. Hello. Yes, I'll have a uh, track and rail. Crackers, crackers. And a uh, chuffing, good ti chuffing good tea time, please. Thank you. Good. Right. Let's get back in here. I love this signal as well. Look how, look how mad that signal looks. It's just so strange. Alright. Let's get ready to go. This is going to... There we go. Barking Riverside. Final stop. Not been too bad, is it? Not been too bad. And there we go. We've got a 60 limit, which is probably the fastest um, bit of overground ever. Emerge out from underneath the... Uh, Buildings there. So yeah, that's where the um, C2C and o Underground go towards Upminster. But then there's all C2C also go this way because they go via um, Raynham and Tilbury, don't they? That's yeah. Because if you if you could keep if you could keep going this way, you would eventually end up alongside High Speed One. That's what I love about the geography of the uh, the railways. It's, it all feels interconnected, um, which is very fun. And I, th I think in T in TS Classic as well, with some of the merged routes, you can drive this route and then take the freight only bit to form a connection onto High Speed One, so you could do like a big loop. Um, I don't think we can see high speed one from here, but we I can point out where it would be, um, where it emerges out after the uh, Thames Tunnel. Actually, no, it's not the Thames Tunnel, isn't it? It's the it's the North London Tunnel. Tun L L London Tunnel Two, I think, is the right terminology for it. There's a bit of uh, extra freight action. Very nice. Love to see it. See, we are taking the spur off to take the flyover up and over all of this into Barking Riverside. And on to the alternate track. You can see the flyover ahead of us. And down to 40. It is time to begin the climb. There we go. Have a look around. I love how modern this looks. Again, with the concrete bed track. It's 
very nice. Let's look at it from this camera, actually. Look at us fly over. There we go. So, yeah, so this is Ripple Lane. You can see some more freight down there, which is very nice. And um, High Speed 1 is... We're going over it right now, and it pops up right in the horizon between these two tracks, basically. But no, we head for the side of the river. That we do. We're going into Platform 1. Very nice. Yeah, I, I love how this looks. Concrete, clean, modern. It's a very distinct look. It really is. Alright, let's come down for the 25. We ignore the 90 that's on the track monitor. That's just because it doesn't realise there's buffers. We're not going to do 90 miles an hour into the Thames, don't worry. Cleared into platform 1. Good, good. I don't know which one's 1 and 2. We're not crossing over, I don't think. No, we're going into our local platform. But you could cross over and go into 2. Because the next train to leave will be the one that's in platform 2. And then one will arrive into platform 2 and this train will leave again. Um, but I'm not going to be driving back. I think that's this is more than enough for today. Welcome to Barking Riverside. A very, very pretty looking modern station, which I've still not been to in real life because I'm cursed apparently to not be able to do so. Right, let's uh, bring it to a stop. We'll, get, we'll, have, we'll have a look around the station because why not? Once we've done the passenger boarding. Um, Let's get that into B3. Shut down. And there we go. Let's shut the windows. Uh, let's get the towel lights on. Let's get AWS off. Uh, let's key out. Why not? And let's also be to shut the doors. No, we're good. There we go. Uh, speeding minus 780. Uh, we'll ignore the speeding. I like me a platinum medal. Platinum's good. Uh, decent stopping ish. We ignore the one that says 11 yards. Cool. Right. Let's uh, continue to free roam. This service starts again at 1031. You're gonna, I love it. When you open the door, it turns the cab lights on. Um, very, very clever and automatic. This is such a modern train. I love it. Right, those doors are going to close. So as we can see, this forms the 1033 back. Oh, place the route map. Very nice. There we go. This is the 1018. This is leaving right now. He says. There we go. Away it goes. So that will probably pass the next train just outside Barking as we did, and that'll arrive, and then this will depart. It's 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 just non non-stop. Non-stop. Anyway. That's my shift done. 710257 has been su successfully barking riversided. Um let's go and call the lift. And uh that'll be the end of our shift for today. I hope that you have enjoyed. Uh can I call can I call the lift, please? What? Oh, thanks. I want to call the left, please. There we go. Right. That is bit, that's the end of the shift. That's, and that's the end of the first video in a long time. Doors open. Lift going down. Doors closing. Down we go. So yes, I'm going to go and stand by the river. Or get, get a taxi back somewhere. Maybe we can go on a, on a, on a, on a bus ride. Who knows? Buses are, in fact, in this direction. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue my journey. And I hope that you have enjoyed. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.